this is really boring. I wanted to show you how easy you can pimp an outfit with some belts. And in your wardrobe, you have to have just like the classic belt. And then I know these two are really expensive and you don't need like the Dior belt or the Bottega belt. But I just wanted to show you how, how much this can change an outfit with the Dior belt. I would probably say that this is the most classy look you can wear. You can go like this. You can also uh, use the belt like this. That is also really, really classy and you're not so relaxed anymore. So it's also nice to just have it in your bag and if you're suddenly just like on a Friday night are done at work and want to go party, you can pimp your outfit with a belt. The Bottega belt is more, I think it's more casual. And I just bought this one, haven't used it that much, but I love it. And I know that I'm going to use this one a lot in the summer. Um, the reason why I bought this one, because I have the Dior belt, so why do you want a more statement belts? It's just because I use the Dior belt so much. So I wanted to change it up a bit. Like this, you can also use it like this. So I just changed the top because I'm going to show you my purses. But um, this was also something I mentioned. You have to have like black, white and grey tops. I am super picky. I have chosen a few of them I want to show you. It's like two different wipes. We have the classy small bag wipe and we have the Dior saddle bag. Of course, one of my favorites. It's super pretty. Then we have my Prada bag. Uh, of course, as I mentioned, you don't need the brands. I just wanted to show you how it looks and how it can change the outfit. But this one is like more classy, casual. I would probably use this if I'm going to do small errands. I don't feel super pretty that day and just want to be comfortable and uh, maybe if I'm going out because if I go out to drink or party I would never go with like an oversized bag then I need something that's like over the shoulder because then I can move and I can enjoy everything and you don't feel yeah can't find the English word I can take away the long one and then just have the small one. Then we have my Fendi. I have had this bag forever and it's so tired. It's almost like or it, it is broken. It is. But this is my oldest bag. Um, I actually don't have a lot of design ba designer bags. Uh, I think I have three or four. And that's just because I don't know. I usually buy them vintage or I, I am just like super picky when it comes to purses and I don't like purses because when I was younger I only had like big bags but um, yeah I have changed over the years and um, yeah it gets smaller and smaller I guess then we have the other look and that's like the oversized I'm going to shop groceries <laughs> or going to work at the office something something and I always use these big bags not when I'm like have my computer with me or anything but if I want to look more casual and messy I can probably just have my phone inside this one but I like I love the look and it's the same one with this cow print I know this is a bit crazy for some of us but I love it and um, gives you a nice uplifting uh, feeling to your look and um, it's really nice because you can, you can also do like this and have it as a uh, clutch I did a, that on fashion week but you, you will never go like this in Oslo this is just like the fashion week wipe you can't go like this and just like Ugh. I have a cow clutch because everyone is going to enjoy their outfit today no then let's talk about hats still have my Tunis Porcelain Blazer on and um, when it comes to hats I don't usually use them but I like to have the option and um, if you want to look like the guy in You, the Netflix series that everyone is saying that I look like when I use my 
Lacoste cap. This one is vintage, by the way. I use caps if I like if I have a really bad hair day or if I just want to look chill. So you can use a cap uh, with, of course, like a blazer. You can use it with jeans. You can use it with like, yeah, everything. Just like look cool. I will probably have my hair up if I'm using a cap. I don't think I have ever used my hair down and use a cap, but yeah. So I like this one. It's super simple. It's vintage. It's gray. It's not giving any attention at all. And it's just like super low key. Uh, another option is the... I think this will come back this summer actually. But another option is this... Uh, what, what do you call it? Like sailor cap? Um, I use this... <laughs> I use this one so much when I was younger. But I feel like I look like a Swedish girl when I use this one. Like how Swedish is this? Did I start this trend? I think it's nice. Definitely not Danish. I think the cap is Norwegian. This one is Swedish. And then we have the Danish vibe. The bucket hat. But that's Danish, of course. Who is the coolest? Norwegian, the cap. But yeah, the bucket hat. You can use it in so many different ways. This one is from Dior. And it was so expensive that I never, or I'm, I'm never gonna do anything so stupid again, ever. It's cute. I have used it like at the beach and I'm driving in my car. I don't know that anyone can see me or like in a park or something. I don't have the confidence to go with this one with a casual outfit like this. I just can't. It's nice to have at the beach. A really expensive hat just to have at the beach. Uh, Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna show you, I don't know why I, I'm like taking everything off because it looks not pretty at all. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is shoes. Then I have like three different things I think it's most important to have in your shoe closet. Sneakers, daddy sneakers, yeah, casual. If I just want to feel casual. I like, haven't ever seen anything <laughs> more comfortable and classic than this. They're so soft. I hate the logo. Tried to fade it away. Can't do it, but I usually use like pants. So it just like looks like this anyway. And the third pair uh, I think you should have in your closet is a pair of sandals. And uh, these are the expensive ones from Chanel and um, I also think it's really cute to have socks inside your sandals in the springtime not in the summer that's not allowed that just looks stupid but like in this in the springtime if you want to go with like big trousers and then have socks in your sandals I think that is just super cute uh, but not like shorts socks and sandals no and we have different kinds of the sandal and um, these are the newest one it's from Kos, gives you like a really feminine vibe and they're super tiny. Same with these, here you can show it off your toes. So it's really nice to have a pair of black sandals. So that was everything for today. I don't have any battery left, so I might be gone in a few seconds. Just wanted to say that I appreciate that you're following me and uh, subscribing my channel and giving me so much love that you did on my last uh, video and uh, I hope you liked this video um, and enjoyed them um, yeah I'm not that professional in style but this is just what I have in my wardrobe